Hello everyone and welcome to our monthly what sold over $50. So everything in this video has been submitted by our Facebook group members. And if you're not already on our Facebook group, jump over now um, and just search in the groups for Vintage Booth Pro. We are over 4,000 members, which is just insane. Um, I'm going to leave, leave the link to the group in the comments um, below in the description, um, just so you have an opportunity to join. It's a free group. All you have to do is answer a couple questions and then you will be added to the group. I post daily, you know, what's sold in my booth, if anything. <laughs> and then I ask questions like this sometimes. I ask uh, for people to share uh, what you know, their booth looks like. And I let people know that I'm going to share this in a video, like some of these other videos here that I've recently done. I've done fall displays, Halloween displays, Christmas displays lately. So if you have a booth you want to show off, our group is the one for you for sure. But then since it's kind of like unknown what really is selling in vintage booths, and it's just helpful to educate yourself and learn about what's selling in other people's booths. Um, that's why I post daily so other people can share. And then I do things like this because we all know that smalls make rent, but really the, the good stuff that you really want to sell is over $50. And so let's get into it. What sold over $50 in um, October, 2023. We are about mid-November right now, and I hope you made rent and I hope you're doing great. So the first one submitted, okay, this chair, this is so cool. Paid $40 several years ago at a rural thrift slash junk sale in Georgia. Sold for $99 at my small store, the Earthly Earthy Emporium in Waverly Hall, Georgia. Now, as we're getting into Thanksgiving, I think that a lot of people are going to be looking for extra seating and extra you know, um, tables for people to serve um, Thanksgiving dinner on and throughout the holidays, whatever the case may be. But this is like one of those focal pieces that people are always looking for. Next up is the our same vendor, original painting purchased in an estate sale bundle for roughly $25, sold $100 in my small store, the Earthy Emporium in Waverly Hall, Georgia. And um, it's beautiful. Just the frame is so ornate and um, just beautiful picture overall. One of those statement pieces that people are always willing to pay up for. Okay, next up is a, um, a vendor in Gainesville, Georgia. She goes by Jay Bowen and Company at Out of the Cedar Chest in Gainesville. So if you'll take a look in the picture, see this green mirror in the background? Um, she sold it for $50, purchased for $15 at a thrift store, and she painted the frame green, which is just such a beautiful color. I love that. And uh, sold it for $50. So that is pretty easy uh, paint job, really, and if you could find the perfect color. And um, yeah, great flip on that. So this one is a great story about why you should tell everybody what you do. Tell everyone that you are a vendor and um, you're always looking for antique pieces, furniture, things like that. And so I'm going to just read what she wrote. This is what was an antique tabletop. I got the table free from my hairdresser because she was going to throw it away. I removed the top and sold it as a large riser. My tiny business is Iron Pig Market, and it sold for $149 at the Antique Gallery of Houston. So that is something you will probably never come across, um, <laughs> you know, on your own. You just have to make it. And so that is just super cool. Next up is, um, oh, you know what? We don't have a picture for this one. So this is just kind of a generic picture I threw in there. Um, I don't have a picture since it sold so fast. And we've all been there. <laughs> and I, I kind of love when that happens. Um, a painted wrought iron quilt rack bought for $10 at a garage sale, sold for $55 the day after I put it in my booth at Apple Tree Antique Gallery in Bethany, Oklahoma. So obviously this is not the picture at all, um, but one of those um, things that people are always looking for are quilt racks. So um, great find there for $10 especially and um, great sale. Okay, so this one, I had to research it a little bit because I did not know how to say this and I did not know what this was. So if you're like me, you'll learn a, a new term and uh, you can be on the lookout for something like this. 
So reading what um, Miss Vintage Meets Mod wrote is purchase a silver plated Epergnier from a local auction house for $42 and sold for $276 at Lake Lakeland Antique Mall in Lakeland, Florida. And this vendor goes by Vintage Meets Mod and just finds the most amazing things. Okay, so I did have to look it up. And a Pergnier, and I think I'm saying, I don't know if I'm saying that right or not. It's a type of table centerpiece that is usually made from silver, but may be made of any metal, glass, or porcelain. So uh, an Apergne generally has a large central bowl or basket sitting on three to five feet. And um, I would have never known what that was. So this was an educational one for me, and it is so beautiful. And that is an incredible sale. So congratulations on that one. Same vendor, if you're ever in Lakeland, Florida, which I have a possibility that I might be there sometime in the next year uh, coming from Georgia. So fingers crossed, I'm hoping I can visit, especially this vendor who does so, so well. Okay. Purchase this Amish, Amish country painting by Dolores Ackenberg from a man for $40 at a local auction house. Who won the lot? I was bidding on. He was going after something else in the lot and is sold for $120. And it, you know, it really doesn't look that big. Um, and that's so interesting that you still got what you wanted from the lot and he got a, what he want too. So uh, that is a win-win all the way around. Next up, same vendor, my husband purchased this sign limited edition Mother's Day celebration by Jane Worcester from a local estate sale for $8 and it sold for $76. And I don't know if I said that right, Jane Worcester. It's one of those words that it seems like it's right, but then you're probably saying it wrong. Um, but beautiful painting, $8 to $76. And this... Um, you know, artwork is kind of the theme for this video because there's so much artwork that has been sold um, that people really have an eye for. So once you get those um, reseller muscles going and know what kind of artwork to look for, you can really make bank in your booth and by learning what people are looking for. Same vendor, another piece of art. Purchase this signed West Palm Bay Ink drawing art from a man for eight dollars at a local auction house who had won it in a massive furniture lot and it sold for 68 dollars so did you track this man down and <laughs> just say give me this <laughs> because he was willing to give you uh, several pieces and you knew exactly what you were doing so that is so awesome be sure to follow vintage meets mod on instagram and i think facebook uh both and just see some of their collection really incredible Oh, this is another one. And good for you having your husband out on the lookout for these things uh, because mine is unwilling to do so. Okay, my husband purchased this very heavy English stoneware cat at a local estate sale for $15 and it sold for $60. First of all, I love cats. Um, all, all animals really kind of sell quickly uh, because people love animals and they love um, having, you know, their their cats or their dogs or whatever the case may be but anything something is especially heavy and made with stoneware uh definitely take a look at it if possible and this is again vintage beats mod in lakeland florida so that and the cat doesn't look very big looks like she's sitting on a shelf but very very heavy and sold for sixty dollars Okay, same vendor, and guess what? Another piece of art. Purchase this hand-colored engraving of St. Peter's Basilica in Vatican City from a local estate sale for $18, and it sold for $56. So another great piece of art, and I'm sure you made the buyer very happy. Oh, and I do love this one. It's so pretty. Okay, um, I purchased it at a yard sale for $13 and sold for $150. Dippin' Daisies is located in Windsor, Virginia, and she is located at the Sassy Sisters. Now, I would like to know if you up, if you painted it and put the, um, oh, I forgot what, the decoupage um, transfer on there, because that is so beautiful and really great sell there. Okay, next up, I purchased this chest of drawers at Goodwill for $15. Had to put a lot of work into fixing the drawers 
and a new paint job. Sold it for $80. Booth name is Wild Honeysuckle Mercantile, located in White Owl Antique Mall in Mount Pleasant, North Carolina. Booth B29. So a uh, great flip on there. And just the fact that your Goodwill has furniture for so cheap um, is really amazing. My Goodwill has the worst furniture at the most expensive prices. It's just, just a weird time we're uh, we're having right now with our local Goodwills. But luckily we have other thrift stores that are better. And you know, you always have Facebook Marketplace to find furniture. But I do like the detail on this, how um, in the, I don't know what that's called, the insert, um, it looks like you did some gold leafing or something there, really beautiful. Now this one, this one is just insane. And I sadly do not have the location. Taxidermy Bison bought for $300 at a yard sale and sold in my booth for $1,700. I have questions. I would love to know where you're located. Um, I assume it's, you know, out west somewhere. Um, and how long was this guy there? And were you sad to see him go? Because I bet he kind of became like a mascot for your booth. Um, that's pretty cool. All right, and guess what? Another piece of art. Purchased this painting for $15, sold for $125. That is, I mean, that's beautiful. That looks like a Bob Ross original. <laughs> I don't know anything about art. <laughs> um, booth name, Repurposed History at Painted Tree Boutiques in Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, pretty cool. It looks big too. I wonder how big it was. And I see a lot more Painted Tree Boutiques um, shops popping up in this video and in, in, in our group in general. Um, there's one that's like 40 minutes from me, so I really want to go check it out, but it's kind of hard to make the time to get that far. Um, okay, so... We bought this green leather recliner at an estate sale for $60 and sold it for $189.95. Our booth is the Wild Goose. We are located in the Rusty Chandelier in Laurel, Mississippi. One of my goal places to visit. I um um what's this what's the show that's there? Hometown. I love that show. Um I don't feel like that's right. I don't know. Uh, definitely want to go visit there sometime. And like I said in the beginning, focal pieces like this beautiful leather chair, you know, people are always looking for just that perfect piece for their home and, you know, just something comfortable to sit on. It looks like it's in very good condition. So always look for those, um, especially leather, um, something that can stand the test of time and wing back chairs are also something good to be on the lookout for. Next up is found this jelly cupboard, cupboard, I can never say that, cupboard, uh, for $10 at a moving sale, sold for $91 at the Carriage Place in Brockport, New York, Vendor 24. That is so interesting. I would love to see the inside of it. I love this one. The shelf unit. This is stunning. Um, paid $50 on Facebook Marketplace and sold for $148.50. This is the Vintage Mutt located in the Madison Flea Market in Madison, Georgia. Booth number 279. Now, tell me, it is always a discussion to keep the natural wood or paint something. And uh, I am telling you, I see... Natural wood is becoming so much more popular. Maybe consider, and this is advice coming from the group, from people that have been around there, put it in your booth first, see if it sells, and then paint it if it doesn't sell. So just something to consider as the natural look is uh, making a, a big comeback. And I love those mushrooms in the, in the picture there too. Okay, this one hurts <laughs> because I have seen and passed on one of these shelves at an estate sale because I didn't think I had room in my car, but I bet I could have made it fit now. Um, Mid-century shelf unit paid $12.50 at an estate sale, sold for $54. And this is the Vintage Mutt located in the Madison Flea Market in Madison, Georgia. Um, not only, it's, it's just beautiful and it's a great display piece just to have in your booth, you know, if it never sells. I wonder if you could have gotten a little bit more. I don't know. But that's uh, that's a pretty good sale and I would have take that, taken that any day. Ooh, this is so pretty and I am... I have way too many mirrors in my booth right now, and I wish I could make a few sales like this. This vintage Sirocco mirror paid, 
paid ten dollars. I'm sorry. At an estate sale, sold for fifty five dollars. And this again is the vintage mutt located in the Madison Flea Market in Madison, Georgia. That is beautiful. It's so ornate. Um, I love that. Next up, and I did something to this picture. I don't know why it is. Um, it's um, kind of blurry, but you can definitely tell that they are Dutch clogs. They were purchased for twenty dollars on Facebook Marketplace and sold for $50 a few days later. And this is the Gardena Homes booth 137 at Hudson Antique Market in Wichita, Kansas. And um, I just love, I just love that. I love Facebook Marketplace because it's like they could have, they had the opportunity to purchase it as well, but you didn't. Um, so you kind of always have to be the first one. Um, always be on the lookout is, is what I'm trying to say. And this is so cool. Same vendor in Wichita, Kansas. Gardena Homes booth 137 at Hudson Antique Market. Okay, this wreath made from dried mushrooms. Purchased for $8 at a garage sale. And it's all for $52. That is so unique. I've literally never seen anything like that in person before. I would definitely grab that up um, when and if I ever do have the chance to see one. That is really cool. This one, you'll just kind of um, have to, the, you can't really see a whole lot in the picture, but it, there it is um, in the red circle. This dollhouse kit um, for $60 is what it sold for. We purchased it for $15 at an estate sale. You can barely see it behind our locking case. Our booths are located at Antique Paradise in Norman, Oklahoma. That is really cute, and I love those M&Ms too. <laughs> Uh, this one is super cool. Route 66 sign paid $13 and it sold for $69. Bought for uh, bought online auction. Uh, booth is the Junk and Treasures Owl's Nest in to Topeka, Kansas. Um, pretty cool. And I love the rusted look of it. Oh, I love this. Um, this Hoosier style cabinet on the left of the photo. Oh, I think I cropped it. So this is the cabinet right here. Uh, it sold for $350, purchased it from another vendor when they left and maybe $200, like they don't remember exactly. Um, it was in my booth forever and I put it on sale. This is Junk for Joy at Marketplace 3301 in Billings, Montana. So I think these cabinets are so cool. Um, when I did a video at Lakewood Antiques Market um, here in Georgia, Retro Ron has had one and he was showing me all the different things and where you would store the flower and how it, would, it was just really, really neat. Um, I can link that video. I didn't get that part of it. I wish I had. It's kind of awkward to ask somebody <laughs> to um, you know record them while they're explaining how a Hoosier cabinet works. Okay, next up, same vendor, Junk for Joy in Marketplace 3301, Billings, Montana. This beautiful white gate leg table sold for $99. I think I paid $50 for it a while ago. It's been a great display table. And that is the thing, like you have to, uh, you know, you're glad it sold, but then you have to come up with something else to put in its place. But that is just beautiful. And look at this picture. This is just a stunning picture with perfect lighting. I really, I, I really struggle with photography, and this is just one of those things that I strive to get better at. Okay, these are vintage Masonic Lodge seats, bought for forty dollars and sold for one hundred and fifty. The tattered suitcase in Jasper, Texas. I that is a still getting those for forty dollars. I wonder where you found them. Um, so really, really cool. Oh, and these are so pretty. White ceramic Christmas tree sold for $129, bought it many months ago for about $60. Sold, for, sold at Antiques and Uniques in Wycliffe, Ohio. Booth and Facebook is Mulberry Hall Vintage and Antiques. Now, one question, as I am not, um, I don't know much about these trees. I think they're beautiful. Uh, my mother-in-law has always had one. I think she even made it. Like, can you even make these? How do you tell the difference between the current ones that are coming out? Like, I saw them at Walmart and the vintage ones. Um, so that's a question. I'm going to put it out there. Let me know in the comments below as I'm just trying to educate myself. I think they're so beautiful and so incredibly popular. That is an incredible sale for $129. 
Next up, this is, um, there are two, so I'm going to split this up. Um, week one of October, the chandelier sold for $168, paid $29, $20, sorry, at Habitat Restore. And this is in a beach house vintage, Wildwood Antique Mall of Vero Beach. <gasps> I've been to Vero Beach before. We love it there. Um, Space K4. Oh, I hope I get to go back and visit you sometime. Oh, well, we have, you know, the Disney place. We're a big Disney family, and Disney has a place at Vero Beach. And so one of our favorite places to visit. Um, okay, next one up is, this is so cool. A uh, Beluga Well Container sold for $87.50, and she paid $7.50 at Goodwill. $7.50. Um, again, Beach House Vintage at Wildwood Antique Mall of Vero Beach. Um, that looks big. I wonder what it's made of. Um, great find, though. It fits in perfectly to your theme, I must say, with the Beach House Vintage um, name. So... Good branding, good buyer persona if you watch that video. And um, yeah, really nice. Oh, and I don't have the location on this one, but they paid $4 for it and it sold for 50. People like weird and that is so true. Um, I wish I could find more weird things to sell. I like him though, he's cute. Sold this table for $199. Bought via an online auction for 12. That is crazy. Sold in my booth at Antique to Chic Vendor Market in Jacksonville, North Carolina. And the vendor is Roxanne's Doodads at vendor number 37. Next up, Memorial Flag Display Box, handcrafted, and it was a beautiful piece. Sold for $59 in my booth at Our Yard Your Cell in Hampstead, North Carolina obtained for free through a friend and this again is Roxanne's doodads in Hampstead North Carolina and that's another good point make sure your friends know that you will take their stuff <laughs> they will sell you you will sell it um but make sure they know um this is I mean there are so many vendors that even in this video alone have talked about how a friend has given them something and they've sold it Okay, so this vintage cigar display case made in Nicaragua for $54. I purchased it at a little thrift store my husband and I came upon in Big Spring, Texas. I think I gave $15 for it. Linda Luz located in Key Pieces in Hobbs, New Mexico. That's really cool. And I think is, um, Key is having a husband that will stop with you at thrift stores. Um, my family hates them. They're, they just... They tolerate it. Um, yeah, so <laughs> good find on the, on the husband there. <laughs> okay, this white refinished dresser bought for $12.99 at Goodwill Bins. Sold for $110 at Antique Paradise, Norman, Oklahoma, booth A8, Friends of New Life Homestead. Furniture at Goodwill Bins. Um, I do not have a Goodwill Bins near me. I've been to... A to the one in Chattanooga. I've been around, uh, you know, when I'm traveling, when I can, because like I mentioned, I have a family that doesn't like their stores. Um, but sometimes I make a special trip for the bins and very rarely have I seen furniture at the bin store. So that is really cool. Did you have to update it any? Um, like, did you have to paint it or change out the knobs? I would love to know. Uh, let me know in the comments. Okay, this one, Turning Page Vintage at Mr. Darby's in Boardman, Ohio. What a cool name, first of all. Um, this vintage Art Nouveau mirror purchased at a garage sale for $5, sold for $65. See, I never find those garage sales. <laughs> that is an awesome find. This one is in Delonica. Oh, and I have some good news. Um, I'm going to read this first. Found this pair of very large and heavy cast cast iron. They weigh a ton. Three arm candelabras at a thrift store for five dollars. I thought I would keep them for myself, but they were just too large for where I wanted to use them in my home. They sold for hundred twenty nine dollars the first week I put them in my booth. Rabbit Run Farm, located in Gold City Antique Gallery in Dahlonega, Georgia. I am going to Dahlonega for Thanksgiving, and uh, I hope that I can sneak away from the family and do some videos 
at um, some of the thrift stores, or not thrift stores, antique malls there. I think there are a couple. And so I hope I really get to stop by your booth and check it all out. But that is an incredible find. I mean, those, those are beautiful. This one is fun. This may be cheating a bit since I had them priced separately. Not at all. Uh, but a woman bought my three Mary Mushroom canisters for a total of $98. I paid $30 for them at a garage sale. I may have underpriced them a bit, but I was happy they sold fast because I was a little worried about them possibly getting damaged in my booth. And truly, that is a concern. And if it's not by the um, customers, it's by me moving things around. Um, he says they already had a few chips already. And this is booth 330 at the Leavenworth Antique Mall in Leavenworth, Kansas. So I think that's a great sale. And doesn't, not cheating at all since you had them priced separately. Oh, I keep seeing these people finding these um, and putting it out there in the universe. I just wish I could find them. Okay, this one, take a look at this cabinet. I sold this cabinet in October for $75. I purchased it for $35 at an estate sale and was using it with my display. But my booth was getting cluttered, so I decided to let it go. Great decision for both myself and the customer in Crestline, California. That is really beautiful. And sometimes we do need to um, get some space in our booth. So completely understand that. And it's still a great sale. This stunning piece, I sold this for $279. I paid $50 for it um, years ago. It sat in my workshop <laughs> waiting for my husband to address some structural issues. I bought from a flea market. My booth is called Darcy's Designs in Athens, Georgia. That is beautiful. Shout out to your husband for finishing the piece. And I completely understand about waiting for them to get it done. It's usually me waiting for myself to get it done, uh, but it really turned out very nice and great sale. I saw this Catholic last right wall hanging for $95. I paid $10 for it at a yard sale. And this is Autica at Bryant's Antique Mall in Franklin, North Carolina. I would like to encourage you to find Autica on Facebook. And this, um, this vendor is the personification of having your buyer persona down to um, just perfect. Um, they are so unique and they, they have identified their perfect buyer for their booth and so they have a, a large following. So that is someone to check out and that's a great sale. I sold this bubble frame vintage photo for $95. My friends who have a thrift store gave it to me to sell in my booth as vintage sales better for me. Did it as 50-50 commission after my commission and fees. Located in Wheeler Station, Wheeler, Oregon. That's a great idea. Let me know if you have, uh, if you've ever worked with a company like that or a friend like that and done commissions um, because it's a great way to make a little bit of extra money and um, yeah, great, good for, it's a win-win. Next up, I saw this spooky birdcage for $65, got it for $20. Filler was just stuff I had hanging around except for birds. I got off Timu real cheap. Located in Wheeler Station, Wheeler, Oregon. I love that. It looks like it has a picture on the inside and candles and really cool. I love that. Next up, sorry about picture, kind of blurry. This is a painting on a board. I got a Goodwill for under $5. Sold it for $65. It was very nicely done. Located in Wheeler Station, Wheeler, Oregon. Um, like I said, the theme is artwork and um, it's really beautiful. Can't believe, oh, and I messed up on here. I'm so sorry. Um, it should say bought for $5 instead of $20. And I haven't been looking up, I haven't messed up on any others. Okay, this one. Deets are our lantern. We are downsizing from two homes to one. Don't know what my husband originally paid for it. Sold for $100, located in Wheeler Station, Wheeler, Oregon. Um, $100 for a lantern is pretty amazing. Um, I would definitely look up Deets RR, D I E T Z R R lantern. This is a great um, sale, another donation. Black Justin Cowboy Boots donated. Sold for $50, located at Wheeler Station, Wheeler, Oregon. 
Um, boots are huge, and I bet especially in Oregon, um, because that's just that one of those things that the craftsmanship lasts forever. So great sale there. And pretty sweet that it was donated. Sorry about picture being blurry. This is a vintage oak frame mirror my husband inherited. Sold for $65. Located in Wheeler Station, Wheeler, Oregon. And um, I have been gifted several things like that. Mine are not. Mine were not that um, really worth a whole lot, unfortunately. But it is nice to have things that you've inherited that you can pass along to somebody that will use them. Um, so that is a great sell. Oh, and take a look at this. Got these Mias on vases uh, for $10 um, and sold for $367. I don't know the location, but um, those are, that is just a crazy sale. And I'm going to look up a little bit more about these vases because those are beautiful. I, if I could sell that every day, <laughs> my goodness. Um, I don't know, but I don't know where you found them for $10, but that is just really, really cool. Okay, this is a vendor I've already talked about, and this one is all about the story, really, instead of the picture. So, um, Roxanne's Doodads and Flea Bodies Antique Ball and Auction House. Let me read you what she wrote. Artwork, painting or print adhered to a board. I'm not really sure. It's set up in my semi-storage, semi-display area for almost a year. As I had a fractured tibia and an injured PCL, which limited me from life for many months. So sorry to hear that. Um, anyway, I was cleaning out the excess merchandise I had stashed above my booth and decided to try one more time to find some info on this piece. And either way, I was going to tag it and sell it. Dusted it off, searched using Google Lens, and there were just too many similar, but none were the same. I made a tag for it and sold it for $50. It didn't take long to sell either, so I might have let a valuable painting go for cheap or someone just really liked it. Either way, I'm fine with it. I may have paid three or five dollars, but I think I obtained it for free, actually. Sold at um, in my booth at Flea Bodies Antique Malls, and I am vendor 49T at Roxanne's Doodads. So we all we all have those little corners of the booth where, um, you know, you really don't want to move the things. You have it there. It looks fine. Um, for me, it's like the tops of the big furniture that I have. And so when she was able to, she finally took it down and it sold for $65. A gift table from my brother to help you make money in your booth. That is so sweet. Um, so she got it for free and it sold for $50. It's really beautiful table. I love those legs. Okay, this gorgeous, of course, artwork, like I said, that's the theme. <laughs> this gorgeous artwork was purchased from my local restore for $25. I sold it in my booth, Red Hair Vintage in Painted Tree in Cary, North Carolina, for $60. It sold within 24 hours. That is really cool. And there's another Painted Tree. Let me know if you have your booth there or if you like shopping in those. I'm going to have to go check one out. This is our last one. Uh, this has been a really long video. Thank you so much for watching at the, to this point. Okay, this is a set of two vintage mushroom Pyrex casserole dishes with lids. Paid $5 at a thrift store for both and sold for $65 in my booth. And this is three birds, one nest vintage and home decor at Rusty Bones in Southtown, South Towns Antiques in Springville, New York. And if you saw my last video where I'm talking about um, how to make a logo, she is one that allowed me, graciously allowed me to try to come up with a fun um, logo for her booth. And um, I'll link it here if you are interested in watching that. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already joined our group, be sure to do so. And so you can be included in our next month's um, retailing of what sold over $50.